What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Evolving United. We are on episode number 124, and I have to be perfectly honest with you guys, I've already recorded this video. Um, <laughs> Basically what happened is, I went to edit the video this morning, I'm recording this the day you're watching it, Um, and Spotify was playing in the background, I didn't turn it off from when I was using it, and the whole footage had copyrighted music lesson learned oh, it's annoying because yes no, i could have post comp over no, it but no, i never find it's the no, same thing no. um especially with these sort of videos we've had to do it in the past i don't really want to keep doing it so i've scrapped the footage and we're going to go again basically and the stream that was going to be out today will be now out tomorrow with all that being said i will try and catch you up basically on some things that you would have missed from that video we did the free uh 85 by fives i want to say they are whatever the 85 packs are not the 84 by sevens the other ones um and i just want to see if i can show you guys the only real player of note we got was scrinia um he's super cheap anyway literally we'll be going back into an sbc possibly martial considering where we're sort of at in fact what i'm kind of tempted to do in today's video is have a bit of a major pack opening open up every pack on the account and sort of update you guys on spcs and stuff because we don't really get an opportunity to do this often so i think we might even do that first thing you will notice is owner patel is up to an 89 rated i was literally sitting here this morning and trying to work through what i could and couldn't do <laughs> so i thought i can do some evos i can do some squad battles etc so we've been working on her chris balling is complete i will show you him in a minute rio ferdinand i need to put back in because he's got that bs red card again uh there seems to be this glitch on the game where your defender's foot keeps going through the ball it happened in unfortunately the video you wouldn't have seen yeah i, I don't understand it i don't get why it keeps happening um, if we head over to Evolutions, first and foremost, let's claim Chris Mullin, which is fantastic. Goes up to a 92 rated card. Super nice. Uh, like I say, Anabatel is now on level one of three. Lukaku still working on Alvaro Fernandez. Obviously, we still got to do as well. We'll come back to Elise in a second. And there was a new Evo release last night, which again, I'm kind of annoyed because I've ended up putting Amrabat in, which you guys wouldn't have seen. However, he gets an okay card. It's not the worst thing you're ever going to see. It's not the greatest. It was literally the only player that was illegible, that was somewhat decent. So I thought, hey, do you know what? We've turned down quite a few Amrabat upgrades in the past. Let's do one this time. You know, we get some nice dribbling stats, get some okay defending, some nice physicals. With a shadow chem style, possibly won't be the worst thing you've ever seen. Um, free play style pluses is nice. Pinged pass plus. Pinged pass plus. Uh, first touch plus and also dead ball plus. Not bad. Press proven. Um, rapid, which on Amrabat would feel super nice. Slide tackle and power header. It, it's not terrible it's not the best card you're ever going to see but it's an upgrade number about so we will take it now on to alise um i kind of i discussed this in that video which is why it's so frustrating this series i've been in two minds in what direction to take it i didn't know whether to stop it purely for the euro content and then possibly bring it back after i didn't know whether to stop it fully until fc 25 i wasn't quite sure what i've decided on doing is over the summer transfer window let's be honest it's probably the best time as a fan of your club to play the game because there'll be transfers coming into the club one man we're constantly linked to is elise but i feel like what we're going to do at the same time is obviously the euros are starting copper america starting there's all these amazing cards that have been released, and I will show you some in a minute. Um, 
why shouldn't we build the best Man United squad at the same time as everything else? So a bit like what I said, when we was doing the tournament for the team of the season, so you had like the Bundesliga, the French League, etc. I said next year, I want us to try and build into different teams, but have the Man United team as the main one. I want us to do that for the Euros. I want us to trial it. So we're going to focus purely on Man United. Every player we'll go for would ideally be a Man United player. However, when we get an Evo, and I'll show you an example, like ultimate attack, no one we have fits in. So if we're doing, say, we're building a French squad one day, stick in someone like Terrier. Why not? Who cares at this point of the game? It's not going to be a long-term thing, but I just think over the summer transfer window, let's just try it. Let's mix the Euro content, the Man United content together, and let's just see what happens. Let's also stick in Chris Balling into here for his final upgrade. Absolutely fantastic. So in he pops. Um, yeah, so instead of saying let's stop one series and start another let's just sort of mix it and just see where we end up let's have a bit of fun over the summer ea released this euros attacker evo which by the way alise looks genuinely insane and i've played against him quite a few times and he is ridiculous five star five star great pace great dribbling great shooting great passing yeah it's a nice card good play style pluses you can do this twice they gave you a set academy players a bit like future stars academy i'll be honest in my opinion one thing they've done is really really strange so if you put adiemi in or alise you'll get free playstyle pluses however one of the playstyle pluses ea give you is power shot so i find it a bit bizarre that they've given immobile and sterling both power shot it doesn't really make sense in my book because essentially if you chose raheem sterling if you're doing an england team you can only have the two playstyle pluses doesn't make sense we're getting to a stage of the game where four playstyle pluses are being given out for free across the uh the season pass but you'll give me a raheem sterling with two i don't get it personally um they could have easily given Immobile and Sterling a different playstyle plus. Uh, they have also given squads for Copa America. You've only got three options. You've got Icardi, Richarlison and Lozano. Now the difference here is none of them have got power shot plus. So every one of them will get three playstyles. And yeah, just it basically this side of things is going to depend on what EA give us. I think there is a... In fact, if we go back. I think there is a tournament at the minute yeah festival festival of foot cup play one play three play six play 10 score 15 win three win six win 10 win 12 so again that's going to be a one squad team and it will be uh, i believe it's nation based only um didn't even know daily play was back how mad is that right let's claim some of this stuff Now, there was a poll on the channel regarding Anthony Martial, and the majority of you guys have basically said to try and do him. So I'm happy to give it a shot. I think we've got about a week left. So genuinely, I'm so tempted to have this episode as a bit of a a bit of a catch up, a bit of a, I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna have a pack opening. And we're going to work on Anthony Martial. So I think the first thing we're going to do is see if we can get any of these squads done. I did start putting in whoever we had. Um, obviously, Skriniar could go in. Didn't I have another 93 or is he in already? He might be. Uh, Lewandowski could go in. Pop. See, if I knew who I was going to put into them SBCs, I could... Uh, Put in a couple of the other 87s if we need to. So let's just see where this is going to get us. So Skriniar, Lewandowski. Surely 
this will be enough that's an 88 it might not be enough that's an 89 about the 87 over the 86 still not enough that's mental i'm not going to do this i just want to see how far we are off the rating so someone like park bowen so would a park over a bernardo work yes Would an 89 rated card work then? I wonder. Would she work? Yes, she would. Right. So if we get an 89 rated card, we'd have the eight, the 90 rated squad of Martial done. We then would have to do an 88, an 87, an 86. We need two Tots cards or Team of the Week players. I mean, it's super doable, right? So if I head over to... Is the Team of the Week player pick still here? If they are, uh, upgrades. If the team of the week player picks are still here, that's massive. They are. Okay. Okay. So in that case, we will do Martial. A few moments later. Right. So we got a, we got a 92 rated card now. So what my aim is going to be, can we get rid of an 88? Yes, we can. Can we get rid of a 90? Yes, we can. See what I mean? Um, ooh, can we get rid of the 91? Oh, we can. So, even better. Davis can now go in the team of the week. Not the team of the week squad. One of the other two squads for Martial. We've saved ourselves an inform. Uh, if we go to gold. Now, I'm not expecting too many of these to work. So an 85 isn't enough, an 86 isn't enough. So we're bang on in terms of rating. So we've got the two, the 93, two 93s even, and a 92 in there. And that is Martial's biggest squad done, just like that. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to submit. Boom. I honestly didn't think we'd have a chance of this. If I'm straight up with you guys, I didn't. Uh, oh, I have claimed squad battle rewards, by the way. It was bronze one. I wouldn't get excited. <laughs> uh, I believe as well. If we head to packs for you. Someone said there was um, 10 and 30 coin packs. They are. They're there. Right. 10 coin pack. Seems I've got some items to deal with before I can move forward. Oh yeah. Duplicate Modric. Forgot all about him. That's nice though. Again for Martial. That will work nicely. So let's start off with a 10 coin pack. I don't know if there's going to be any gameplay or not in this video. I'm genuinely not sure. Um, I think we're just going to have a bit of a catch up and a bit of a working on Martial, essentially. Anyone low rated, I will discard. But ideally, we want some high rated cards, don't we? All right, we'll try that again. The 10 coin pack went wrong. It froze the game. 30 coins. No special. Jamaican striker. That's going to be sure from Man City. Unfortunately, Antonio is a special. A few 85s in there. Do you know what? For 30 coins, you'll take it, wouldn't you? Surprised Jordan Pickford actually didn't get a card. Quite surprised at that. So I think what we're going to do is just start working our way through some of these. Let's start going through the tradable ones because obviously they will allow me to bump the coins up. Uh, anything in here? Nope. If we can get Martial for this episode... I'd be super happy because I didn't think I'd be able to do him. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I know we had all these packs here, but obviously we've still got the Evo that we're trying to save up for as well. I think there's about two weeks left to do that. I might be wrong. It might be a little bit less. Um, The other thing that hasn't helped is I've been playing UFL <laughs> instead of FC. If we can do it, I mean, now that that 90 rated squad is done, I feel pretty confident we'll be able to do this. I really do. There's some amazing cards that are in, obviously. Um, just making sure no one there really worth anything. I don't think there is. Um, there's some amazing cards on the season pass, like genuinely outstanding. And some more cards have been released. So, again, this is something I discussed on that video. There was... Van der Sar, not Van der Sar. <laughs> there was Schmeichel. I was going to say someone to replace Van der Sar. Uh, Schmeichel has come out. 
There is also Vidic. Uh, who else was there? Sabitz has got an insane card now as well. And also there is one more. I can't remember who it is. Vidic, Van der Sar, Sabitza. Who was the other one? Damn it. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Bear with me. I am currently checking while talking to you guys. And it was... I'm sure there was four of them. Oh, Forlan. Diego Forlan. Um, he got an insane card as well. So, there's quite a few cards we can pack right now. It would be nice. Even a few walkouts, EA. I thought we had one then. I think what I should really go and do is go and see Croatian. Could be Modric. It's not. Go and see where we stand on Martial. Let's see if we can build another squad out. Ideally, that would be super nice. We'll have to use the Ipswich man probably for the higher rated team. So, the 87 rated squad because he's what, 91? And if we get the Peter Schmeichel card, which by the way is his first special of the year, if we manage to get him, just know Van der Sar will be going straight in the bin. Because, geez, what a terrible card. Uh, I'm going to keep Bernardo Silva there. Just chuck some of these 87s in. A couple of the 86s. Now, realistically, Adiemi can go in. Because I'm not going to use him in the Evo. I think Lozano can also go in. Because he's not going to be used. And out of Immobile and Sterling, I'm going to do Sterling. So he can go in. Uh, chuck in Sauerburn, Rudiger. Sure, is it going to be enough? 87 rated. Love that. Di Lorenzo, Hernandez. Oh, Davies got to go back on the bench. Right. I just want to see if we can get the rating down at all. So first and foremost, you over you. Nice. That's an 87 saved. Or oh, not quite there. Over an 86. Yeah, love that. Love that. And in fact, I don't mind getting rid of Adiyemi. That's fine. I'm quite happy with that. So let's submit that. That's two squads of Martial done already. The only thing is now, we are quite low when it comes to cards. Let's do the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Danish centre back is that Christensen? Damn it! He has a card right now. It's just uh, it's special. Fifteen hundred coins. Never mind that. Giroud was in there as well. Who obviously was was he in Ultimate Tots? He was in Serie A Tots. The disgusting card. Either way, I thought the game froze on me there again, but we're good. So we got an 86 and an 88 rated team. We need some big walkouts. That nearly was one. I thought it could have been Casemiro, but it's not. Um, 84 and an 82, sure thing. Let's just go through these packs. They've got to go, haven't they? 80 by 5, Turkish. Centre mid, is that Kalinoglu? It is indeed. Now, again, super nice. In fact, what I'm going to go and do with these guys and girls is I'm going to go and put them into a team of the week player pick. So I'll go and build that, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, Team of the Week player pick is built. I think I used all of them. I can't quite remember. I didn't. I used one of them. Wow. Either way, let's move on. Team of the Week player pick, who are we going to get? We get an 85, which I think will work. I think it is. Is it an 85 rated team I need, or is it 86? Either way, 86. That's fine. So for this squad, he will go in. Uh, if I head to, we've got the 84 by 7, and the 85 rated team needs a tot player or team of the week. Are we better off building this? Have I got the fodder to build it? I'm just thinking it might give us a chance to get some higher rated cards in the club. So if we had to use a Lozano, that's okay. Parejo can go in, that's fine. Fabinho, Kalamuani. Do you know what? Let's just see. I don't know if it's going to work or not. We need the inform. We are super, super low when it comes to fodder in the club right now. 
How much do I care about Cardi? Do I put Bernardo in? Is that a waste? It might be. Let's see. Couple of eighty threes. That's an eighty-five rated team. So Cardi is enough. How much is the cheapest eighty-seven? Because genuinely, I think I'd quite happily pay the coins. Cheapest by rating. 87 rated card is Kobe Bell. 7,100 coins. That's fine. We will pay that. So, Kobe Bell. I know it probably doesn't make a lot of sense because I've just done that team in a week for Martial. However, my hope is... Kobe Bell, hello. There we go. Right. My hope is that if we do this pack, um, we'll be able to get some higher rated cards. Plus, we're going to pack a load of 84s and stuff anyway. I feel like we can do another team of the week pick, is what I'm saying. I don't think that's going to be a massive issue. Let's go through some of these. These are tradable, which is super nice. In the bin they go. Small Prime Electrum. Now, if we head back here, the 83 rated team is absolutely fine. I've got loads of 83s. Well, I think I have. Uh, gold. Yeah, look. Nice. No problem at all. Uh, and then we'll chuck in a couple of 82s. That's fine. But it's going to give us an 84 by 7. Now, it's best of nations, basically. So it's England, Brazil, Argentina, and France, I want to say. Might be Netherlands as well. Um, But honestly, just give me some high-rated cards. That's what I'm after. If it's someone we can't use, fine. Just give me high-rated then. Um, So let's head over and open that now. Oh, we got a Tots loan pack. Cool. In the bin, Podolski goes. Although I would say that is a good card. Be fair i've used it before it was decent uh right 84 by 7 best of nations pack come on it's not a special french goalkeeper ac milan so it's mignon it's not a double it's dead what is that that is dead an 87 and 85 oh my god Look at that. That's disgusting. All right. What it will allow me to do is another team of the week pick. Small positive. I, I, oh man, I don't know. Let's just carry on opening up for now. I'm genuinely going to aim to try. Is that Ozerman? Ah, oh, it's Lookman. Damn. Genuinely going to try and get Martial, I think. That is the aim of this episode. French left back Real Madrid that's going to be a Ferland Mendy shame it's not tradable because when the right Evo comes out he can go for a few bit uh, 80 by 2 Spaniard right mid no one good are these cards even in packs right now all right I just realized I recorded a segment earlier on a new monitor and it wasn't set up on OBS you guys have seen it however um, yeah, we are back on Footbin, and while I'm here, I want to show you guys some of the new players that have come out for us. First one is Schmeichel. Uh, Diego Forlan is another one. Vidic is another that we can use. Oh, hello. Didn't mean to do that. It's fine. We, we'll start off with Vidic then. There's one more, which is Sabitza. So, Vidic, over his 94, it's a super nice upgrade. He's 1.3 mil, so he is expensive. 99 defending. Genuinely insane. I feel like he's going to be an absolute tanking game. 4 star, 5 star. I mean, you wouldn't put a shadow on him. Honestly, why would you not put an engine on this man? Some people might want him controlled lengthy. I'd go for, yeah, engine all day. Some people have gone Catalyst. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, personally, engine, great pace, good shooting for a centre-back, good passing, good dribbling, 
perfect defending, great physicals, four star skills, five star weak foot, mental, six foot three, 97 rated centre back. What was the other one people said? A catalyst. How does that look? Yeah, I don't mind that too much either. Boost the passing up a little bit. Doesn't boost the vision, which is why I prefer the engine. Boost the vision, short passing, long passing curve. Yeah. But yeah, that's a really nice card from Vidic. I have never seen this on a defender or any player in this game. He has every defensive play style. Three of them are pluses. He's got Anticipate, air, uh, Jockey and Block as normal. Intercept, Bruiser, Slide Tackle as pluses. I genuinely feel like that card's going to be insane. The next one was Sabitza. And he is currently... 307,000 coins. He's gone up 25k. Again, got a really, really nice boost over his other card. He's club 90. Four star, four star. Incredible play styles. Genuinely incredible. Good play styles. Probably lacking one or two extra. But it's still really nice. You could do whatever you wanted with this card. With the with Anticipate, I'd probably play him at DM. Got a shadow on him. Great pace, great defending, great physicals, great dribbling. Great shooting, great passing. You could play him at a camp. Uh, and probably... The shooting's already so good. I'd probably put an engine on him again. Yeah, I mean... Look at that for a card. That is pure and utter filth. Love that. Great card again. And quite cheap. Next up is Diego Forlan, who's down to 165. Now, Uruguay used to have a really good team. I don't know what they're like now. But these cards can get upgrades. So, three playstyle pluses could potentially get four, I believe. Some great playstyles as well. Five star skills, four star weak foot. Good pace, good shooting, good passing, good dribbling, good physicals, even. 74 defending for a striker is not disgraceful, is it? People are saying an engine. And do you know what? I like that as well. You could probably go for a Hawk as well. Yeah, Hawk's quite nice. 10% of people on Footbin are saying a Shadow. <laughs> That's kind of mad. Uh, yeah, I'd go either Hawk or Engine, personally. And last but not least is the one man that... I'm so hopeful. I've spoke to um, a couple of guys on Discord and Lucas has actually bought this card and he said that his first game he was very bad. Then after that, he's been amazing for him. I'm hopeful, right? Like, we need a good goalkeeper. I'd probably just leave him on basic. Look at that. 99 diving, 99 reflexes, 95 handling, 98 kicking, 99 positioning. Do not get my hopes up. My word. 86 reactions. I'm really hopeful that he could be our keeper. 380, so he's gone up by 47,000 coins. Yeah, he, he looks legit. And over his base card, he's got a massive upgrade as well. So fingers crossed we can get our hands on him and try him out, essentially. But... For now, let's just carry on opening up some packs. I'm hoping that footage just there is going to be all right for you guys because where I've got an ultra wide monitor, it doesn't record the, record the whole screen. Um, so yeah, that will be super interesting. Ah, oh, Parejo, fantastic. We just used him. Uh, let's go for another 81 double. I think, in fact, we should. That's an 84 there. We'll take that. 284 is fantastic. We should um, build another team of the week player pick, shouldn't we? Because we're going to need it. We've got 15 packs left. I think when I get to 10, as we get an Englishman, Kieran Trippier and Martinez, love that. When we get to 10 packs left, we'll go and build another team of the week pick. I've got this funny feeling, German centre-back, who's that going to be? Ginter and Neves, another 284s. Um, I've got a funny feeling we might be able to get the lower rated squad done. And we're going to need the 88 rated team. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Hopefully we can. Hopefully. Brent and Galton. 
I mean, we'll definitely get Martial done. It's just whether we can get him done for this episode. I'm going to push as hard as I can for it, believe me. Serbian left mid, that's going to be Kostic. Even if I have to spend them 46,000 coins on... I mean, to be honest, I could get like a 93 rated card and it would just lower the... Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. I might be able to do it. Fingers crossed. I'm going to try. Come on. Can we get a big walkout? France striker. Be good. Ah, it's Leon. It's not good. It's Lacazette. And you know what? I will use him in the SBC. So, guys, I'm going to go and do that, and I'll be right back. All right, that is another Team of the Week player pick done. Now, this one will be going into Martial. Hopefully, we can get someone high-rated. Let's see what we're going to get. Do you know what? I will take Malcolm all day. It's only 88 rated, but that's quite big for the 86. So, yeah, we'll take that. Not too bad at all. We have apparently... Ah, perfect. So we've got the 91 rated card here as well. That's actually, that's massive. Because he'll go in the 88 rated team. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up a few packs here. And then we'll see if we can finish off Martial. Uh, to, um, that can all go in a bit. Um, even if I can get... Oh, I don't know. Can I get both squads done? It's possible. I really feel like it's possible. Uruguay at DM. No good. I think I'm going to focus on the 88 rated team first. Because that's the bigger squad. Obviously, we've already got a 91. Which is fantastic. Yeah, so it's kind of big. Right. Let's do this pack. Got two things in the trade pot. I don't even know what I've got on there. Let's go and have a look. Transfer list. An 84 and an 83. Honestly, I'm just going to quick sell them. I'd rather take the coins right now. SBC. Right. Let's see if we can complete Martial. Well, let's see if we can do the 88 rated team at least. 29.750, but he's 93 rated. That puts me to an 85. 87? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Just, again, popping players in a different ratings to see. Uh, Hardy. If it's like another 87 rated player we need, then great. No, 87 is not enough. And 88, not enough. We're still quite a way off then, aren't we? So we need a 90 rated card. Yeah, we're just going to go and buy Luka Modric or Martin Odegaard, who is apparently 7,300 coins. Love that. So he can pop in over Icardi. And then we need an 88, which is going to be Renard. Have we got enough? We should have. My coin balance is going to be in the mud here. Wendy Renard is currently 9.7. 10k, no. Uh, Paredes. Don't do me like this, EA. Paredes. Yeah, cool. 9.8. There we go. In she pops. Um, and that will go in over Malcolm. And that's the 88 rated team done for Martial. So literally, all we've got to worry about now, and I'm kind of confident we can do this, is just the 86 rated squad. We have the team of the season or team of the week. So in fact, let's just put in what we've got so far. Uh, so Malcolm can go in. going to be 84s outside of that isn't it I can't buy anyone because we've got no coins I mean honestly do I really care about this Akadi card probably not right so we are 
two ratings off, which kind of is sad. Let's go and finish off the packs. Obviously, we've got 83 in here, which is really going to lower down the rating. Um, I could do with a couple of just walkouts, to be honest. 86s, 87s, 88s. Obviously, anything higher than great. We've got eight packs left. <laughs> so I feel like it's going to come right down to the wire as to whether we can do Martial or not. Obviously, this pack can be discarded. I think that's a Jacko. It is. Um, and in fact, what we can do, if needs be, I can build another Team of the Week player pick. Can I? Oh, I don't know, actually. I'm just thinking whether that's going to be worth doing or not. Let's see what we get out of these packs. Let's see where we stand after this. We've got nothing so far. English, striker, Harry Kane. Ah, be a uh, daily. All right, well, it's an 85, so that's super nice. That's super nice. Five packs left. German, center back, Rudiger, Rudiger. No. Could be Sulla. It's not, it's Hummels. It's always Hummels. I mean, to be honest, worst case scenario. And again, I don't know how long this video is going to be. So apologies to you guys if you don't like a massive pack opening. Um, but we could also build some player picks if I need to. Put some of the lower end cards in there. 81 by 2. Oh, oh, it could be a walkout. It could be a walkout. It is a walkout. It's an 89 rated card. That's massive. I don't care. I'll throw her in. I know it's only an 86 rated squad, but that's huge. That is huge. We've got two packs left. Let's open these up. We've got an 82 by 2. Austrian left back. Who's this? Bayern Munich. Oh, it's the old team of the season, isn't it? National Wing. Yeah. 83. Then, oh, I feel like we're going to be super close. We've got one more pack. Is it a walkout? Spaniard left mid. It's not. It's going to be a yards bow, isn't it? Always, man. Always pack this card. Haller as well. We'll leave a yards bow there for a second. If we head back over to SBCs. And if I head to Anthony Martial. Right. Who have we got that we can put in? So first of all, gold cards. Got an 89 and 85. There was no one else that I could use really, was there? I'm super tempted just to chuck in... <clears throat> I'm super tempted to chuck in... Um... What's his face? Where is he? Icardi. Oh, he's already in. <laughs> I need a Man United player as well. Damn. Uh, have we got anyone? Well, obviously we will. No, not Man City. Man United. Have we got any good golds? Anthony's the highest rated. That sucks. Do I chuck in a Scott McTominay? Would that even be enough? It would. Oh. Um. Oh, I'm really, really conflicted now. What to do with that? Uh. I mean, Bruno. If you buy Bruno off the market, apparently he's about 10k. We're currently on 3.6. I just think. Do I just stick McTominay in? We never use him. Honestly, he's way behind the power curve. I thought this card was going to be so legit at striker. It's terrible. Screw it. McTominay's going in. Guys, if you've been waiting for the Martial SBC, I said I gave you the vote. I gave you the option. I said to you, I'll do it. Here you go. Yes, informed McTominay Evo is no more. However, we do still have his other version, right? We still have his other Evo which is this one right here. It's low rated, it's crap, but who cares? There you go, Tom and A. Um, what I remember quickly, you guys have asked me about Maybury and why I'm not putting him into Evos. The honest truth is I can't. The game is a bit glitched for me. Um, if I put this one into an Evo, it resets the whole thing. 
and I've been getting the same issue with this Maybury as well. So yeah, it's a bit weird. But we are going to complete Anthony Martial. Yes, submit the squad. Last pack for us to open. But Anthony Martial walks out in all his glory. Let's go. Oh my God. That's huge. Genuinely. Absolutely massive. All right. So. Unfortunately, we are on 54 minutes so far. So there won't be any gameplay in this episode. However, before I go. We're four star, five star. Striker, left wing, center forward, left mid. Good pace. Good shooting, good passing, to be fair. Good dribbling. Good stamp, good heading accuracy. I don't even know where I'm going to play this card. Technical plus, rapid plus, power shot plus. Finesse shot, chip shot, first touch, trick start, and Travella. Really have got some choices to make. The one thing that comes straight to mind, and I don't know. In fact, let's have a little look while we're here together. I would be tempted, as much as I love Mikatarian, I would be tempted to drop him. In fact, get rid of Varane for now. Um, put George Best there. And then Martial can go in at left wing. And then set up in the 4 triple two with Martial and Cantona up top. George Best and Diallo on the wide cams, as we sort of was before. Bruno Mainu holding, Small in, Rio, Wambasaka, Ona Battel at the back, and obviously at the minute at least, Van der Sar in goal. That's what I'm really tempted to do. In fact, I can show you what I mean. We play this tactic in game. And if it's set it up how I would, or would I have. Would I swap them two round? I think I'd leave it like that. Uh, George Best on the left, Diallo on the right, Marcia on the left, Cantona on the right, my new Bruno. Yeah, that that I think that's how we're going to do it. Obviously, in the long term, um, I don't know that Chris Smallin will stay in over Village. Like we've got arguably our our best ever centre back pairing in Rio and Vilic, and I kind of want to use them together a bit more. If we can get Vilic's better card, then great. Um, But for now, I'm just super happy we've done this flashback card. Because again, if we're doing Euro squads over the summer, Anthony Martial for France will be fantastic. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I apologize that it's a little bit different to what we're normally used to. Thank you once more for watching and I'll see you all very soon indeed.